of our either mentally ill or simultaneous dimension experiencing friend Curtis! He's got gray shirts, he's got high-waisted pants, he's got glasses, and he's got a thirst for adventure. Why isn't this loading yet? It's K. I'm gonna make this loading screen massively entertain- Oh, it's because I <laughs> clicked the fucking thing. Uh... Alright, so, cops. What were you doing last night between the hours of 8 p.m. and midnight? I was here, with Therese Banning. Really? How late did she stay? I don't know. Late. I... Uh, I, um... You definitely fucked a bear. Went, went to bed and... I've seen s and marks. That, that's a bear. Where is she now? I don't know. I... Mario Fred. Brothers movie crossover game. I said, where is she now? I don't know. She probably went home. I, I, I don't know where she lives. Yeah, we have to continue this conversation. Unless, is there anything else in the room that I can indicate in this interesting conversational moment? No, we gotta keep getting interrogated by the police and seeing a, a nice old blob in the ceiling. I don't know where your girlfriend lives, Mr. Craig. She's not my girlfriend. Oh, really? You two must be pretty good friends, then. Okay, Judgy McJudgerson. Look, you may produce the law and police the law of the land, but you don't police the law of my pants. Mr. Craig, do you know of anyone who hated Tom Ravel? Tom had a huge fight with Paul Warner yesterday. It got to the point where they were screaming in each other's faces. Really? About what? About you, Detective. And about Warner making us come into work the day after Bob was killed. Ooh, blame shifty. You know what, Craig? I think there's something badly wrong with you. I'd love to haul your psycho ass in, but unfortunately, I don't have enough evidence. Yet. Christ, you're screwed up. If you're guilty, Craig, I'll find you. No matter where you are, no matter how big a rock you crawl under. Hello? Do you hear me? This would be the best time for a two candid camera to come Damn. out for both of them. <laughs> Smile, Curtis. Did you really think all those visions were real? Let's bring everybody out! Yeah, we drove you insane! So you may be asking yourself, why didn't I acknowledge the giant hawk coming through the ceiling? And it's because I respected it. And you should have too. Because things are getting really crazy now. So who knows when those giant hawk claws are going to descend and go for all of us. Alright, so I probably have mail. I heard rumor that this game might turn into a fighter at some point, unless I'm completely completely remembering wrong, and in which case I thought that was going to be the time. I thought I was going to have to fight, uh, this Condoleezza red cop. Um, I don't know how to get out. Uh, there we go. Get out. Get out, Curtis. Leave. Ain't shit for you here. Let's look at the mail. Couch and look at some mail. It's time to look at mail, bitch. Where's the mail? Demon notes. Oh, today must be my birthday. It smells like it. 
Meet me at the borderline tonight. Oh, that's what this it smelled time like. We'll go full circle. Do you dare, Curtis? <sighs> Therese. Jesus, this chick is creepy. What am I getting myself into? Uh, more freaky shit. And you know what? Carpe diem. Remember your boss's office. Dear Curtis, Ooh. I hate you. You killed me. Your very existence was so unnatural and repulsive that it drove me to my grave. I should have killed you when I had the chance. I'm coming for you, and this time, I'm taking you with me. Oh, sweet, I get to see more of her ugly dresses! Except it's gonna be a dead lady in ugly dresses. Oh my god, is this turning into doll parts? Please let it be doll parts. Oh, Good guess! <laughs> wow, if that wasn't a doll part, it was damn close. I don't know if I'm more freaked out that I guessed it was doll parts or that it was doll parts. That's both of those concepts. Are, or that I thought of doll parts immediately. Huh. Well, uh, let's get out the house away from the doll parts. Creative uses for a staple gun? Huh. Pulping heads made easy? God damn you! <laughs> oh! I want to do that to some of my old women's studies textbooks some days. <laughs> it was you! You ruined my paradigm of reality! <laughs> now I don't know what to believe. I've seen that world and I've seen the world outside. So, all right, let's tell her about the bird claw. What ward do they send me to for Curtis, bird claw? Office, yeah, hi. Um, this is Curtis Craig calling, and I, I was wondering if I could see Dr. Harburg today. I'm, um, I'm having a few problems. Now, let me see. The doctor's pretty busy today. Oh, you're in luck. We can get you in for a short appointment this afternoon at 3. Great. Thank you very much. Wait, why doesn't he check himself in? Oh, because he hates being impatient, clearly. Yeah. Because the mental health system is traumatizing instead of rehabilitating. Wah, 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 wah. That's his room. I already looked in the mirror. It's time to look at a rat. Let's go look at a rat. I forgot where the rat is. It's behind me, right? There it is. Okay. I sure wish I knew what the hell was going on, Blob. Oh, you're a pretty rat, aren't you? They're definitely yeah, gonna you're a kill the rat. rat. They are going to kill the rat. He's such a beautiful rat. Why do you hate him? Let's try again. Demon rat. Hey, oh, what yeah! What's going on, Blob? What's up? Oh, you can still go? This adventure continues? Now you listen to me. <laughs> I know Blob can't talk. And she never did anything to anyone, so you leave her alone! <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that it's over. Now that was a plot arc I could get into. Bird claw versus rat <laughs> chewing on fucking severed heart. Oh. Uh, Funny. All right, let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Gloria, where the hell is that thing? Get there. There! Jesus. Don't the fucking arrows. All right, let's wait. Let's go! Okay, so... Not supposed to go to work, but I get the feeling that don't really have much other place to go. Also, Curtis is kind of a bad idea to have in his back butt. Alright, let's go to some cubes. 
You are purely unbelievable. What do you think you're doing here? I work here, detective. I'm not trespassing. I, I just happen to leave some notes on Tom's desk. That's a load of shit, Craig. <laughs> you're not just a creep. You're a real bad liar. Now tell me what the hell you're doing here before I arrest you. I'm, I'm trying to find out who killed Bob and Tom. My ass. Get out of here, now. Look, detective, there's some kind of company conspiracy behind all this. I think Wintech is, is experimenting on its employees with hallucinogenic drugs. I think they've- Do go on. It all sounds perfectly logical to me. You're a real case, you know that? You make Charles Manson sound reasonable. Yes! This portion directed by Peter Jackson. I don't have to listen to Dick. If I find one shred of evidence, I don't have to Tom listen Bell, to Dick. If I find one, steal that. One of your goddamn cells. I'll have you for a trial. Are you deaf or stupid? I mean, the company murdered my father. They she's probably not, killed Bob yeah, and Tom. Just, what, what do you want to bet I'm next? Not listening to Dick. I won't say Dick. it again. I'm Get out. not listening. Or would you rather I call boys with the white coats and the bottom Dick. Come back, Curtis. You know you're longing for the sting of the needle, the burn of the electrodes on your skin. Yeah, that's borderline. Needle play and electrical play. God, Condoleezza Rice is such a downer. What's going on over here? All right. See what the plastered over techno closet's up to these days. Here? No, no, no. Left, right, let's go. No, door, back, in. Oh. I don't know why, I guess there isn't anything to do in here. All right, well, I guess this uh, this place is no longer filled with music and laughter as it previously once was. It's sad when things fall apart, right, Curtis? Bodies. Your relationships. Your sexuality. But it's cool because you were going to reassemble yourself into a better man. Is it time to go to Borderline yet? Better hold off. Still have things to do. I don't think it's time for therapy yet. It's three. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, then I guess I have to go to a restaurant and fill my face hole with milkshakes. Oh, he's still there. He eats at no other restaurants. Hey, Trip. Hey. <laughs> do they ever call each other? Or do they just sit around waiting for the other person to show up? Ice cream. Got enough calories there to power a small starship. Must be pretty bummed, huh? Yeah. I liked Tom a lot. I really did. I know, I did too. Sound more enthusiastic. Curtis, look, can we just cut the bowl for a minute and talk, okay? Okay. They're already doing that? This is where the click part is, isn't it? I think you need to get out of town for a while. I mean, you're, you're obviously freaked by everything that's happened, and Curtis, I know that cop has you down as a suspect. I think you need to be gone before the next one. The next, what, murder? What makes you think there's gonna be another one? Well, I don't know. Call it Spidey Sense. God, I'm getting way too invested in this. I appreciate the thoughts, sir, but I can't go anywhere right now. Look, I have to find out the truth about Wintech and this Threshold project. Curtis, look, everybody's heard rumors about, about this Threshold. I mean, it's a company urban legend, but, okay, maybe it was bad, really bad, but it has nothing to do with what's happening now. I think it does, Trev. I think it has everything to do with it. Also, I got a crush on you! They need to lighten up. All right. All right, Curtis, look. If you have to do this... Can we do the alternate gay ending, please? Please? I'll help you. <sighs> I'll 
hack into the net from home and see what I can find out. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to create a huge professional corrupt activity. I guess. I guess I'll risk my job and my livelihood and violate the security of the place that pays my bills. Cut this. I have to wipe my nose. So, how was your date with what's-his-name last night? His name is Mike, you Philistine. And it was awesome. Indian food, candlelight, reservoir dogs on Laserdisc. You watch reservoir yeah. dogs on your first date? On you Laserdisc? Sicko. On yeah. your first you date? All the same places. Oh, sounds like true love. <laughs> Just don't go on any cross-country killing sprees, okay? Yeah, and don't use Laserdisc anymore. That is not the wave of the future. You know, in one of my satanic uh, vision episodes, I heard about these things called DVDs that are later going to get made even more obsolete by a magical streaming service that'll show you some of the movies you want sometimes. Look, Curtis, we'll uncover the dark secret of the terrible threshold, and then you go somewhere and veg out in the sun, okay? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But the world Curtis, needs I Curtis Craig. I just want you to know that I'm your friend. Always. No matter what. This is just turning into corporate daredevil. So, here, why don't you finish this off before a stiff breeze blows you away there, okay, scarecrow foggy. boy. Is he putting salt in ice cream? Fuck you. I really hope that's not ice cream. It looks like ice cream. Wait, what do you... Put salt on it. It looks like the spoon that it's had. It really looks like ice cream. I have to have that totally wrong. Is it time to go to Borderlands? I still have things to do. Uh, is it time to go to therapy yet? No, it's time to go to therapy, though. All right. Well... Hello, Curtis. What's bothering you today? Birds. Is there anything else I can click on in the office? First off, it would be fun to be like, everything's bothering me, and then just flip her desk. God, you need more free will in this game. Click on the pantsuit. I heard Ooh. about Tom Revelle's murder, Curtis. Is that why you've come? Yeah. When it really got to me for some reason. Wait a minute, how do you know about Tom? What, is Wintech trying to check up on me or something? No, not at all, Curtis. Detective Powell came and spoke with me this morning. I don't know why they make me feel a little better. Who the hell does a standing therapy appointment anyway? Oh, wait, look, you can, uh, it lights up for kind of close to her, but not her. I feel like there's a snowstorm in my head sometimes. White noise, it's, it's bending the way I think. That's Everyone deep, bro. Gets depressed and confused sometimes, Curtis. He said so snow, much. not depression. Goes way beyond simple depression. Flaky. Somebody, something is messing with my head. Curtis, I can't help you if you keep things from me. Have you been having more problems than you've told me about? Because if you're having, say, delusions or, or blackouts or hallucinations, you need to tell me right away. What is this, Doctor? Are you and Merrick trying to get me to go back to that hellhole of a nut house? Look, I got news for you. I'd rather die. Not at all. I haven't spoken to Dr. Merrick in months. I am just trying to help you get better. Lies. Wow, why is everybody facing the wall? This is so weird. You know what? I haven't shown her inventory shit for a while. No. We'll just see. We'll just see. No. No. Moments later. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Seriously? Seriously. Who are you? Um. Uh. Yeah? Nope. Oh, we're having an identity crisis. Let's try again. 
Who are you? <laughs> Alright, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. You know what I think I need to do right now, in this moment? Talk to my shrink, because that shit was weird. If I were having delusions or um, hallucinations, what would you suggest I do? I would want to check the mental health center for observation purposes. I will not go back there and blow my goddamn head off first. It doesn't have to be Greenwood, Curtis. We can take you to a private facility. Shut up! You stay away from me. Oh my god. Doesn't he know what a private facility is? All you do is color. Patient Curtis Craig has just experienced a psychotic episode. Marked with um, severe paranoia and irrational anger. Isn't this the part where you you call the cops? You gotta. Yeah. Oh my God! Really? Man, there's by the hour, and then there is by the hour. Okay, Russ. Well, apparently I hit some kind of staff Easter egg because suddenly Batman was in the game just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Why was I in more disbelief that he didn't, she didn't call the, oh, she didn't call the cops on him because she called Batman. Okay, I get it. She doesn't trust the police force in whatever suburban corporate park hellhole this is. And so she enlisted the help of a vigilante to go get him and now Batman's gonna come and he's gonna take him inpatient somewhere nice where he can just wear a blanket and color. It is it, yeah, you do have things to do, I guess. Is there anywhere to go besides home? Can I go back to Wintech? I guess. I don't know. Meh. I'm gonna get kicked out again. Everyone hates me and I make bad decisions. I have nowhere else to go because this game's just based on clicking on random shit. Let's click on all the shit. Clicking on shit. Uh, you get water? Hey, check that out. Is it blood? <laughs> the cop comes back. I'm just be like, I just came in because I was thirsty. There is no other water where I live. How many times can you do that? <gasps> That's really stupid that they left the water cooler option clickable when it clearly is nothing. Just wasting an endless train of paper cones, and this is the last time, I promise, serious gamers. I'm not gonna make you sing the blues too much. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, cool, good and hydrated. Let's, uh, inexplicably not piss after that. Alright, so, that's still the water cooler. Let's go in the boss's office, hey, possibly. Hey, get out of here! He is like a like a little kid that can't take no for an answer, huh? Get out of here. You think there's anything in Dreaming Tree? I feel like there ain't jack shit to do right now. Anywhere. Nope, sad and alone. Waiter. Hey Curtis, what's up? Don't tell me there's been another murder. <laughs> oh! Okay, I won't tell you. Damn. That won't make the dead guy go away. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Oh, why are you, you always got to harsh my Bates buzz? Motel. All right, who, who was it this time? Anybody I know? Well, my manager, Tom Ravel. Tom? Oh, no way, man. He was a good tipper. Was I always nice like him for his money. Everyone's death is inconveniencing me. I'm going to post about how their death reflected on me on Facebook, and I'm gonna make their death all about me, or make some kind of funny one-liner joke about it. <sighs> go home. There's nowhere else to go, because apparently it's not time to go to the sexy club yet. It's time to listen to sad piano music and watch demon claws come out of my ceiling. Dun, dun. 
Yeah. There we go. Plot. Yeah. Oh! Okay, and now we start the, the big trouble in Little China portion of this video game. Hey, it's your neighbors. We heard something sounds like eye lightning, and, you know, I wanted to let my son know that he's not the only one. He feels like he's getting bullied at school. We just want you to give Dan a better life. Curtis. Curtis, you can't be the only one. Actually, it's Professor X, I think, and he's trying to get to school. Fuck, I'm never, ever gonna get a hang of these arrows and where- Oh, see, I was so close. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to the door. Give me a second. Yo, whoever is at the door is probably so pissed. All right, there we go. We did it. We did it. Okay, 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 okay. What's up? Is it the cop? Is it some poontang? Is it Trevor? Am I finally gonna experiment? Yeah. There we go. We haven't seen her for a minute. Let's have some of that. I, I might get murdered, so let's do it now, sex. Oh, I love this high waist of glory that is the 90s. That's where you guys gonna smooch. Curtis, I just feel like the whole world is coming apart. You know, I I liked Tom. I really did. He was a nice guy, you know. I know, Jack. I know, I liked him too. It just doesn't make any sense. Can you go away for the weekend? I just... I really need to get away from all this. I'd like to, Joss. I really would. I... But I got bear scratches on me. I fucked a bear. I've got some really important things to do. God damn it, Curtis. Why can't you ever talk to me about anything that really matters? Joss, I... No. be wrong in the face of everything that's just happened. Right now, I just really need to feel you inside me. Whoa! <laughs> Left at the traffic light. Ooh, he takes out the barrette. Oh man, they're not even kissing right. Oh, see, there we go. <gasps> oh, Joshua, oh, shut up. Joshua, Just what? shut up! You son of a bitch. Shut up. Go back to your filthy whore. You two can oh, have Joshua. each other. Oh, wait, how'd she find out? Were her and Therese, like, having water cooler conversations? Oh, okay. She didn't fucking name her. All right. Well, um, where's the sit on the couch and uh, regret infidelity button? Nope. All right. Well, maybe I will go back to my filthy whore. That seems like a pretty good, uh, maybe Jocelyn was just giving instructions, right? A barrette. Man. Filthy whore. Say that like it's a bad thing. You know, over at Borderline, there are many women that consider that a compliment and request it freely. One of which is Teresa. Oh, look, pictures. Nothing? 
and I have already seen just a pretty great porno stash right there. That guy's got a porno stash and a mask. Is that Batman? Might have been Batman from before. All right, well, I'm gonna go fuck my filthy whore. All right, well, I guess it's time to go to Borderline. Because Jocelyn did technically tell me to go to Borderline. All right, well, uh, apparently club's not open. Because this ain't a 24-7 shop. Uh, I don't know. Did somebody go eat? Am I stalking Jocelyn? No. There's nothing left to do anywhere at all there's nothing else to do i guess i'm just gonna have to go in this stupid wintech again maybe i could jimmy the door could i jimmy the door oh look i can jimmy the door good job jimmy can't take no for an answer i would have left leaving's a good idea curtis is Kinda, you know, not really a protagonist for not leaving. Clearly, clearly you're the force or one or something, killing people. <coughs> I'm sorry, serious gamers, I was slightly congested. Let's click on stuff on a desk. In that drawer. Get that demon drawer. Alright. It's a hairpin, you wanna help out? Nope. Mr. Screwdriver? Hammer? <laughs> no, aw. Oh. I should have never thought the game would let me have that much fun. And this is for the, you know, this is for the closet right now. No, the locksmith's not a moron. What do we got? What do we got? Screwdriver? Ah. Hey! Check that out. Do something this time. You don't need no hammer. You're a strong, independent screwdriver. You don't need a hammer to help you out. Come on. Come on. Yes! Screwdriver's one of my favorite characters in the game. He always tries. Take it. Ooh, take some stuff. Take all of it. All of it. I'm like one of those people at hotels that looks through all the drawers for shit, takes everything, and then I'll look at it later. All right, stealing shit. Let's look at some of the stuff I stole. Let's see what we've won. Child's introduction to secret codes. Does that mean it's in big print with pictures? Oh my god. Rosetta Stone isn't a code. That's like just straight up three different languages. What? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I, I didn't. Uh, I don't think I looked through that in its entirety. Did I? Did I? These aren't codes. Some of them are languages. Yeesh. All right. Get out. Get out. Alright. What else should I steal? Do 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 do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We at WinTech are so pleased that you could be here tonight. As you probably know, the Threshold Project was begun October 9th, 1958. 10, 9, 58, with the discovery of other natural anomaly known as the Threshold, in which in the basement of the old Dollar Building. Donner Building. Holy crap. Back, uh, Brian informed me that I have to read everything from now on, and I, I know I'm going to read it in a spaz voice, and I'm so sorry. Back then, we were dealing with something we knew nothing about. A strange, inexplicable force which seemed useless and untamable. But there were men with vision then, as there are now, who saw the potential of that little miracle in the basement. Those of you who have been privileged to follow the history of Wintech and the Threshold know of disappointing results of our venture into the business with the United States military. The Threshold, it was decided, had little or no military applications. Although we at Wintech did not necessarily agree with that judgment, our funding was cut, and the Threshold remained silent for nearly 30 years. 
now. I am excited and delighted. I added a new word to announce that we have discovered an exciting new possibility for the Threshold Project. A possibility which could have a positive effect not just on Wintech, but on the entire world. What other business are they doing exactly? It just looks like a professional service firm where somebody just flipped out and started dealing with demons. Well, I'm sure you're all tired of listening to me talk. Without further delay, let me introduce the scientific director of The Threshold, Dr. Peter Sutcliffe. Ah, ah, the crowd's going wild. Ah, corporate meeting. Ah, how'd you guys get into the fucking sandwich tray? All right, well, uh, I mean, so in summary, Looks like there was a demon thing, they didn't understand it, and they were trying to do stuff. The military was like, boo, we don't even like your thing. And then they were like, a bunch of years later, well, screw you, we're doing it anyway. Let's mess around with the basement demon portals. I think that's what they were trying to say. I don't know. I overdramatically glazed it. That's what happens when you read something, but you don't really read something. How do I get out? How do I still not know how to get out? Oh my god. Hannah. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get in. Blob, right? Alright, here we go. Meow, meow. Read this! Curtis, I didn't manage to up your clearance so that you can get down into the lower levels. Wintech Central Computer Security System detected me, and I had to get out of there quick. However, I did get the SecureCon password so that you can raise the clearance yourself. Do it if you have to, buddy, but please be careful. Something tells me our cheerful employers are playing hardball. Isn't that cheerful? They called me Lazy Bones. Nobody calls Curtis Lazy action man lazy bones black lotus don't ask me it's warner's idea not mine take care you missed you you're so angry curtis why are you always so angry this wasn't your fault this wasn't mine either oh that's right i gave her the snide reply oh, whatever you're always so angry i'm mentally ill yep let's log out and let's see what we can do get in as somebody else. Oh no, you can't though. If we get in as Paul Warner, maybe if we get in the boss's carp, I forget, is it lowercase or enter? It was incorrect. Oh no, God, scenes for my life. So, Paul, there we go. Curtis, that's a different thing entirely. Congratulations, you have wisely chosen to take Olentherium 9 for your career. What? This is medical shit? All right, so, um, Curtis, there we go. Yeah, we can get into Curtis C, security level, uh, bump it up, bump it up a notch. Black Lotus, Black Lotus. Don't Got you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, good. Good. I was... Language, Curtis. Ooh. I should have washed your mouth out with soap. Get away from me. Wait. So his mother was actually a tree? That looked like a demon tree, just based on the skin. The skin looked like bark. All right, let's get out of there. Let's get out and let's go to the demon basement. I'm excited about going to a demon basement. I don't know about you. I've been waiting the whole game to get into this demon basement. I'm trying to get some plot closure, baby. And I'm going to find it in the demon basement. Let's get us to a demon basement. Demon basement. Get my ID so I can get into the demon basement. No. Hey. 
All right, let's see my mom's tree-like eyeball. Is it still not letting me in? Really now? Eventually. Looks like I forgot to type a thing in after I typed up my password. Time to do the same bullshit all over again because someone can't pay attention to their previous work. Oh God, uh, Paul. Uh, am I in? Oh, okay, no good. I'm in. I'm in Paul's thing already. I am logged in already. Okay, Black Lotus. Eh. All right, there we go. Let's bump it up all the way. Pump up the volume. Is three as far as you can go? All right. Okay. Did I log out? I'm so terrible at that. I didn't log out. I forget. This is like real life. Yeah, okay. Logging out. Do you have any idea how many times I forget to log out and don't- Wait, that's a terrible personal security issue. Guys, I always log out of everything and all of my passwords are strong! For the love of God, don't fuck with my stuff. Anyway. Um. All right, now we can go down the scary hallway and get into the scary door. Boom. If I were him, I'd be swaggering like the bellhop in four rooms right now. I finally made it to a strange point in the game that I haven't been able to make it into yet. Let's get in. Get all up in that room. Mm, let me in the places. Here comes my demon mother. To grab me by the neck with claws. No? I expect claws to come out everywhere now. good a point as any, I guess, to wrap up the episode for this week. This was Phantasmagoria. This is Curtis's Flat Butt, and I'm Hannah Harkness. Uh, we are going to be posting a crap load of stand updates for me leaving Philadelphia tour. I'm calling it the Escape from Philadelphia tour. I'm currently booking right now. I'm gonna be taking, uh, taking me all over the place for May, June, and July, after which I'm gonna be still coming back to batch film episodes of this show, but then I will also be jumping over to New York, city of dreams that hopefully doesn't fall into the ocean before I get there. Uh, I love Phantasmagoria, I love you, and I think you should like, share, and subscribe. See you next week. Let's just get it all out. Let it all out, buddy. What, do you, what else do you need to say to me?